Welcome to the Air Traffic Control Division, or ATC, here at Wolf. We operate as the Center of Excellence for Air Traffic Control and Landing Systems, ATC and LNS, for over the past 40 years, providing cradle-to-grave support for air traffic control management systems, ship support and expeditionary ATC and LNS, and unmanned aerial systems, UAS, including 24-7 fleet support. Our team consists of electrical engineers, mechanical engineers, radar technicians, air traffic control technicians, tech riders, logistics members who work together to deliver expedition air traffic control radar services to the warfighter. A few examples of our projects include the Joint Precision Approach Landing System, or JPALS, for the F-18 or F-35 landing, and the Air Traffic Control Navigation Integration and Coordination System, known as the ATNAVIX. The JPALS is a software-based, high-integrity, differential GPS navigation and precision approach landing system that guides aircraft onto carriers and amphibious assault ships in all weather and surface conditions. It uses anti-jam encrypted data link to communicate between the aircraft and array of GPS sensors, antennas, and shipboard equipment. ATNAVIX is the world only fully autonomous, highly mobile, battle proven, international civil aviation organization compliant, complete ground controlled approach or GCA system that can be transported in a C-130 aircraft. The system provides air traffic control services for the rapid deployment of troops and air equipment to remote locations and also in support of humanitarian missions. ATNAVIX provides the capability to deploy anywhere and get troops or relief on the ground. It allows us to set up a runway and have air traffic control capabilities anywhere in the world. Take a look at the ATNAVIX system in use. The ATNAVIX radar vehicle contains the electronics and antennas for three radars, which are integrated on a removable pallet. An S-band primary surveillance radar, an L-band secondary surveillance radar, identified friend or foe, and an X-band precision approach radar. It has proved invaluable to support both military and humanitarian efforts. An example was demonstrated during Hurricane Michael in 2019. After all air traffic control services were destroyed in the impacted area, Florida military bases, the ATNAVIX was quickly deployed to provide mobile support to the community. Assembling the ATNAVIX takes approximately two hours and utilizes skilled engineers and technicians. The runway is surveyed to ensure vehicle placement is aligned for optimal air traffic control coverage. The ATNAVIX deployment procedures include attaching and leveling the four legs to the frame of the sensor pallet, raising the sensor pallet to the proper height a few inches above the cones, raising the antennas. The antennas are a vital component, providing the mechanism to send and receive the radio frequency waves and bring data back to the sensor pallet for processing. Using Boresight, which is an actual rifle scope, to ensure the alignment and to make the theoretical to actual correction for our sight parameter calculations for the survey data. This helps fix the natural human error that occurred during a setup. And finally, inputting data to ensure alignment and to make the theoretical to actual correction for our sight parameter calculations for the survey data. This is vital to prepare for a flight check. For a flight check, the FAA will fly an instrumented aircraft to confirm that the ATNAVIX is correctly aligned and able to support the airfield operations. This is accomplished by verifying the glide path and course alignment for the PAR antenna. My name is Hannah Gribos. I got my mechanical engineering degree at the University of Maryland College Park, and I'm a mechanical engineer at NOC AD at the Landing Systems Test Facility. As a mechanical engineer with the Landing Systems Test Facility, I do a lot of 3D modeling in SOLIDWORKS, which is really cool because I get to design ideas and actually make them and put them on the system. For example, I made a part for our system that resulted as a change to the system as a whole, and I was able to design from a sketch to a 3D model to a test, a new design, a new part, and we put that on the actual system by the runway. If you're thinking about a career in STEM, my advice to you would be to find something you're really passionate about, whether it be cars, planes, ships, engines, whatever. They have it all here at Navair. All you have to do is be self-advocating enough that you can find where you want to be and get a job there. My name is Catherine Prelog. I studied biomedical engineering at Messiah University, and I am currently working with radar landing systems at the Air Traffic Control Division. Currently in my job with radar landing systems, I coordinate a lot with ships to set up installs where we send technicians to rip out old systems and put in new updated TACAN beacons. My degree in biomedical engineering taught me a lot about project management and how to motivate people to get work done, and it also taught me all the fundamentals of engineering and how to apply them. Through the ESDP program, I took a project management class which taught me a lot about risk assessment and cost analysis, which has been really crucial for scheduling with ships and keeping costs down. For someone considering a career in STEM, I would highly recommend finding an internship. 
a lot of times they can turn into full-time positions or you meet the people who can help you get to where you want to be. Thank you for joining us to tour the Air Traffic Control Division. We are committed to our mission to provide the warfighter with the most expeditious air traffic control radar services to support and defend this nation. I'm Ellen Cervetnik, the NOC AD Strategic Education Office Team Lead. We hope you enjoyed this video. Throughout this virtual tour, you've heard from participants in the Engineer and Scientist Development Program, or ESDP. To learn more about the Engineer and Scientist Development Program, please visit the website shown on the screen, or you're welcome to submit your resume. Thank you.